Midway through Maine's Idaho thoroughfare, Linda Greenlaw is pulling in her paycheck. She's one of many fishermen lured to the business by the lobster population explosion. Oh, beautiful. Up, up, up. We got them. Circling nearby, the research vessel Connecticut is after those same lobsters, but not for catching, for counting. This is the third lobster we've measured. This one's bigger. Scientists like Bob Stenick are trying to figure out how much longer the lobster boom will last. Fifteen years ago, there were just over 20 million pounds of lobster caught in Maine in a season. Last year, there were about 55 million pounds. Scientists say they expect those numbers to spiral downward. They just don't know when. That's why the research vessel Connecticut is out here. The most important part of this mission is right over there. That's the ROV, the remotely operated vehicle. That operates as the eyes of this mission. The ROV swims along the bottom of the ocean, feeding back video, tracking the adults and where they're breeding. These red lasers are beamed on the lobsters to measure their size. Sometimes they just actually come out and they want to fight with you, and we've actually had some attack the ROV. Stenick well knows what's riding on his research for the lobster men. If I don't do my job well, I just don't publish. Uh, if they don't do their job well, they die. Two eight-count Hamburg buns. Susan McDonald runs the only store on Idaho. She says she doesn't go by what the scientists think. I trust what the fishermen know. McDonald is the wife of an Idaho lobsterman. To make ends meet, she's also a store manager, EMT, tax collector, and town clerk. She knows what could happen here if the lobster catch crashes. It could wipe out the town. It really could. But when the crash comes, it won't be the first. They've seen, you know, so many booms and busts and, you know, ups and downs that they just know that the, this very good fishing is not going to last. And even when the lobstering goes, the lobstermen say they're not going anywhere. Caroline Shively for MSNBC.com.